Hey everybody, it's me, Lot Angel Forever, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Ico. And in this episode, we will finally open the main gate after all this time. Uh, we've been through nearly all the fortress, and now it's time to see what is beyond the main gate and what fate has in store for Ico and Yorda. sucks all the energy out of Yorda and now she's weakened by it and before you go any further it's recommended that you save um, especially with this part well not really a recommendation but you want to save just trust me on that <laughs> So it's best to like run for a little bit, then walk the rest a little bit, then run and then walk, and just repeat that process, and it be good. Be all good. another good reason to save. And I'm back and hopefully this time we can get it right and this seem well this doesn't seem like to be. I'm gonna lose our maze. No
just wonder how I could survive that long fall. I mean, like, it's not, it's not exa exactly like you would want to jump down, but uh, I don't know. Still, I don't uh, can't speak um, as usual <laughs> in these videos, at least. Um, and also, the weather's gotten really bad. But anyway, I don't understand how on earth anyone could survive that fall. Unless, um, he takes another plunge. <laughs> and that's the reason why you should save, because obviously we don't have Yoda with us. So, we're going to go and find her. So it's find her way back into the fortress, like, I guess. These jumps can be really tricky as well. Um, the first one is alright, but then the second one, it can be really difficult to get the timing ramp down because um, you can just see like the, the cage just swinging slightly, and uh, and it's so like tiny movements that you can't really tell if the cage is moving. Obviously, when you as soon as you like, step foot into the cage, it obviously it starts to move, but. Um, but it's difficult um, because it moves so slow as well. So, um, so yeah, I remember this area gave me so much trouble as a kid. Eventually, we got it like an hour later <laughs> or longer. I think it was. I don't know. <laughs> dark to see the stars so we can't exactly see where we're going. Anyway, you see that like, this area here. It's kinda of familiar I guess. Anyway. So we need to open this gate, and there's this block. So we must have to do something with the block. And that was not supposed to happen. I added this in with the block, uh, like you swim with in the water with the block, it's kind of uh, cool, um, even though they did it right at the end of the game, more or less, but I also thought that was kind of cool. So what we have to do now is hit this block and take it to that chain because it doesn't go like exactly into like all the way into the water. So the block just has like a little bit of an extra platform I suppose. And this area did give me kind of trouble when I was a kid, like I always kept missing the jump for the the chain and it's hard to get onto the chain from the block because uh, well, I kept jumping in, the r in all sorts of directions like <laughs> completely missing it all together even though it was simple
honestly don't know what to say in this video to be honest. Uh, hmm. Because this area is kind of like, um, like dark, like I was alone again, and um. possibly say be careful on that pipe it can be very it can be tricky Another thing that, um, which is really cool that they added in, like, for, like, the last half hour of the game, I suppose it is, in a way, um, is, like, this, a jumper from chain to chain, um, I really like how they did that, it's really, it made it more challenging, in a way, and I only just made that, as you just saw, it can be very challenging, but it was challenging as a kid, now it's just easy. <laughs> Do it in like five seconds flat, I suppose. Maybe not five seconds, but you get my point. I hope. Now we're coming up to an interesting area. Um, so let's just see in a second when. Do you remember? when we was on our way to the uh, West Arena and you could see uh, these like these cogs from above where we were stood. Well this is that area. Um I don't know in the recording if I panned the camera up towards it but Oh yeah I did. See we was across that um bridge area and this is that area where the cogs and such. Just thought I'd point that out. It's really cool how they uh, did that. Like, um, I like, even though sometimes I don't pay attention to details in video games, in this area I, I did start paying attention. I like little details at the end. I, I should start doing it more often um, in like, more, modern, more modern video games. Like, I don't know, I can't think of any examples at the minute. Seems like the weather's gotten more harsh in a way. Like when we was at the main gate, it was all sunny and bright and peaceful. Now it's just horrible, wet and thundery. <laughs> if that's even a word, I don't know. This area makes me nervous as well. Like, it's a long way down. But once you get to this area, it's easy. Because, you know, you're near, we're near, nearly, nearly there. What I do now is just walk across these pipes. Hopefully, even though it may be, maybe not, even though it may not be very warm inside the fortress, it at least it's dry and such. <laughs> at least that's a good thing, right? episode off here right now so in the next episode we will continue um in full
infiltrating the fortress again, I suppose, and I guess I'll see you guys then.